Greetings my loyal minions and welcome to another episode of Illusion and Delusion, aka, Amberlyn Reed. In today's episode, I'll be reacting to her latest vlog, Full Day of Eating, Disneyland at 400 pounds, I haven't brushed my hair in two weeks. So, without further ado, let's get into today's riveting content. Shall we? Hey, what up you guys, it is Sassy Assassin here back with another video, hope you guys are all doing well and are having a wonderful weekend so far. I want to thank you guys for all the continued love and support over the years, I really really do appreciate it. So um, I just firstly want to apologize for the really crappy mic situation in the last two videos. I didn't realize it was that bad until I upload the video was already uploaded. And people started commenting about how rough the audio sounded. So I decided to test my mic situation without the Crisp software, which is an audio noise cancellation software. And it sounded so much better. I was like, wow, so it actually was the Crisp. And all this time I've been paying money for to for noise cancellation um, when it's been the, pro the root of the problem all along. So, uh, I thankfully found a really good, uh, replacement that is actually free, um, and it's a, uh, also a plugin for OBS, it's the NVIDIA noise cancellation, and it works so much better. It's actually made for the kind of mic that I have, which the Crisp software isn't made for the kind of mic that I have, but it is made for, like, a headset mic. So if you have a headset, it'll work fine. It'll work great. But not for a standalone mic. So, um, that being said, if you have any problem with the audio, please let me know. Um, if you hear any background noise, please let me know. I've tested it so far, and, you know, I have uh, air conditioner and two fans running in my room, and... Um, I don't hear them in the background, so that's a, I mean that that's a good indication that the noise cancellation is working fine. So, uh, as for Amber, I do not have a lot to say before this video, this reaction. So, without further ado, let's get to. I have it on one point two, one point five. Hello, hello. So I woke up a little bit ago. So I talked about my last vlog, like my nighttime routine. So my when I wake up routine, first thing I do is go to the bathroom. Then I take Twinkie out on just like a little stroll. Then I come back in. I take a quick shower. My showers like in the morning, I feel like are a little bit quicker than the ones at night. And it's summertime and it's hot and I don't like that. So I feel like I shower more like in the summer. But then after all that, after Twinkie taken out, fed, I'm showered. I then come in here and I'll do my makeup while editing. Like I'll edit a little bit, then do a little bit of makeup. Edit a little bit, then do a little bit of makeup. And while I am usually doing my makeup part, I'm watching something on YouTube. So I don't know why she feels like it's necessary that she shares her morning routine. Like no one cares. I don't care what we do. I mean, in the morning. <laughs> day night whatever i mean and it's kind of ironic that i say that because i watch amberlynn you know videos but it's just like you know it's just like do, do we really need to know what you like your your routine morning routine night time routine just day routine i mean it's just insignificant at this point um and I, I doubt that she showers as much as she says she does. Uh, and as for her walking Twinkie, um, I think now that Fleen is, is you know, Fleen is gone, um, she's not, you know, walk, she has to walk Twinkie more. But I think when Fleen was living there, that she, she probably had Fleen walk Twinkie. But so now she's probably being forced to walk Twinkie herself. But I still Fleen, I still feel like Fleen does come over from time to time and help out and, you know, walks Twinkie and stuff like that and takes care of the other animals too. I mean, hell, she could be coming over every day to do stuff for Amber. I mean, who knows? But I do not believe for a second that Fleen is still living there. 
And I don't care what Amber Lynn says to the contrary. Contrary, that is what I believe. And right now I'm listening to Future Beauty. Yes, I still watch her videos. It is what it is, you know? Like, I'm a viewer. And right now they're talking about like the whole Disneyland thing. A lot of people are saying like how she won't be able to fit on rides, yada, yada, yada. So I wanna make it very well known. The reason why I'm talking about this is because like based on experience. And also I don't want bigger people to be like watching Future Beauty and hear hearing all the haters say like, oh my God, you can't fit on the rides. Like, and then them never going because she can fit on the rides. I actually have been to Disneyland three times and it was all while I was over 400 pounds. Yes, over 400 pounds. And every ride on Disneyland that I went on, I was able to fit on. And I also went to California Adventures, which is right across from Disneyland. And I also could fit on every single ride on that one as well, but I chose to go on. Okay, I've never been to Disneyland. I've never been to a theme park, you know, or a music, music park as an, an adult, okay? I haven't been to one in years. But I, I, but I, even when I was a kid, I'd never been to Disneyland. That was just never in the cards for me. Um, I've had, I have sisters that have been to Florida who I, um, they may have been to Disneyland. I think, no, my sister's been to Disneyland when they were younger because the, the marching band went, they would go every year. So they've been in Disneyland a couple of times. Um, but my sisters went to, I think it may have been Universal Studios. I'm not sure. Um, but, uh, I, I'm not sure exactly where they went, but they did go to the Harry Potter, like, theme park. So, uh, you know, they've never been in the four to 500 pound range. Like, they've never been that morbidly obese. Um. So I wouldn't know about how, how, how big, you know, like, you know, the capacity of the Disney, you know, Disney rides. Um, I, I just, you know, I'm at a point now where it's just like, I don't know what to believe with Amber. I don't, cause it, you know, Amber Lynn lies so much about every little thing. And now we find out she steals ideas and personalities from other people. It's like, what is real and what it isn't is just, like, I, I find myself questioning everything even more now because of just the extent of her lying. So do I believe that she's been to Disneyland a couple times as a 500-pounder? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. There's no cotton picking way that, that this woman would be able to walk around the freaking Disneyland at, at a 500 pounder without having, I mean, and even if she did, she'd probably have to like use a, like a mobile cart. Okay. And I, I doubt that she'd be able to fit in a lot of the rides. I, I just, I don't think that the, the rides at Disneyland, uh, it, is accessible to people of a like who are really morbidly obese, but then I could be wrong. So, has anybody ever been to Disneyland? You know, Disneyland or worked at Disneyland? Do you know whether that it is possible for people uh, like four to five hundred pounds to be able to ride on the rides? Because I'd really like to know. But do, do you see honestly see her being able to walk around that in that kind of heat? I mean, that's, I mean, Disneyland's a, it's a, it's a really large amusement park and, you know, it's hot and, you know, I, I mean, I don't know what, like, the kind of accommodate, you know, like, if there's a lot of, like, places to sit and stuff like that, like, and then there's, you know, Amber Lynn Bay on our feet the majority of the day. I just don't see it. God, I mean, this is, this is lies and, de and delusion. In my opinion, she, I think she's, you know, kind of low key supporting Chantel. Not kind of, we know she's supporting, she's supportive of Chantel. And, um, and she's, you know, she's going to say whatever to, to, uh, endear herself to Chantel. You know what I mean? I am talking Pirates of the Caribbean, like I'm just gonna name a bunch of random ones. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean, the, um, is it like Hotel of Terror or something like that? Like it's a small world, like the Winnie the Pooh moment. Um, 
tons of the roller coasters. Like the first roller coaster I've ever been on was California, uh, California Screamin'. And I was over 400 pounds for all these. So I was a big body and I fit on every single one. There's obviously a tons more rides that I went on, but I can't really like think of them at the moment. But yeah, I just don't want people to like be watching that and like listen to the haters and like think to themselves, oh my God, I'm never gonna be able to go to Disneyland. Trust Disneyland like doesn't discriminate <laughs> like at all. Their rides are made for all different types of people, including bigger bodies. So I just want to say here from experience that Chantel, Beauty Beauty, her dream is to go to Disneyland, let her do it. She is going to fit on the rides. If I was able to, she's gonna be able to. I just feel like there needs to be a voice of reason. And Look, if that's the case, if everyone's telling the truth, then, you know, that's great. Uh, that, that, I think that's a, great, a good thing that, uh, that that's possible. I mean, it's a possibility that Disneyland can does uh, allow for bigger people to ride rides because, you know, that's, you know, one of the pitfalls of being morbidly obese theme parks. But do you really see Chantel walking around Disneyland? She could, I mean, she could barely walk from behind her ha house to the beach. Do you really see her being able to walk around freaking Disneyland? She'd have to have... They, they do have scooters and stuff like that. But the, the only problem is, do those scooters adhere to her weight? That's another thing. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. I don't know. But it's just like, do you real? I mean, based on the gym, the that beach live stream that we saw, there's no cotton picking way that she'd be able to handle walking around Disneyland. You you girls are delusional. I'm not saying that there aren't there maybe there there aren't morbidly obese people that have more stamina because there are. I'm I'm living proof. I. I'm morbidly obese, not like 400 pounds or 500 pounds, no, but I'm morbidly obese and I have relatively good stamina, but I still would want to see myself being able to walk around Disneyland at my weight, not at least without some sort of scooter or something. Since, you know, been there, done that, I just felt like I needed to share my story, that I had a lot of fun at Disneyland, so I think she will do. I'm having a hard time today adulting if you will right now i'm doing some dishes and i just feel sad uh last night felina and i had like it was kind of like i want to say it was a serious conversation i mean some serious topics were definitely brought up like about when we're moving and stuff like that um but it was like a short conversation so there wasn't like no hardcore depth to it so that's definitely something that's been weighing on my mind and it's like stressing me out like to the extreme because i just don't feel like i'm healing from this the right way i don't know i just no other heartbreak has ever felt like this it's just something just doesn't i don't know it just doesn't feel good it doesn't feel right oh and people were asking about let me guess this is your way of saying felina and i need to get back together because it just doesn't it just does not feel right right you got dumped Feline doesn't want to hang around to watch you eat yourself to death it is what it is and are we supposed to feel sorry for you that you can't adult today whatever because you had a serious convert, you know, adult conversation that you didn't like. You got dumped, Amber. Your co your co your caretaker slash fake girlfriend doesn't want to see you eat yourself to, to death. She's done. She's had it. She's not even living there. Allegedly, she's not even living there anymore. So you know what? Spare me. You know, spare me this this BS. I I don't feel sorry for you. You have, the thing is, Amber, you were in the same place as you were with Becky, and you said that you were going to change, that you were, you know, you're going to use this breakup, at, that breakup as a, you know, as a, you know, basically as the, 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 the light, lighting the fire under your butt to actually change, and look what happened. You, you, you met Feline, whatever, you hired her to be your caretaker, so allegedly hired her to be your caretaker slash fake girlfriend, and now you're two years later, you're still in the same place. And then on top of it, you were in a weight loss surgery program, and you were denied, allegedly denied weight loss surgery, and you you quit the program because you know you were not happy with the fact that you were denied, and instead instead of telling the truth, you lie allegedly lie about it. And my, so, you know, Amber, it's like, I, I don't feel sorry for you. You have brought yourself to this point. You're the one that's choosing to self-destruct and not getting help for it. Not really. Or at least not being honest with your therapist about it.
So no, I, I don't feel sorry for you. I just don't. Um, why and no, nobody is going to make try to make me feel guilty for not feeling sorry for you and not pitying you. If if you if, you know what, no, that's not. <laughs> yeah, I am a little, a little miffed at that comment. Cause not the first time that's 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 happened to me on here. It's like, oh, you know, you should you should feel this way. You should feel that way. It's like it's like you know what? You're not gonna tell me how to feel. And how to react and and so and and you know run my channel basically. <laughs> if you don't like it, then don't come onto my channel. Find so I I always say very politely. Find another place to uh, view your Amberlynn Reed related content because this channel is obviously not for you. Why do I dry my dishes in the dishwasher? It seems like that takes up more time. I don't know how it would because literally like in the same way people wash their dishes and then set it on like a dish rack. It's just, it's taking place of a dish rack because I didn't want my island to like be filled with clean dishes on a dish rack. That ain't cute, that's not aesthetic. So I mainly do it just for the reason of like, I don't want clutter. Um, so yeah, I think today's a no makeup type deal. No makeup type of deal. So you don't use your, your dishwasher because for aesthetic reasons, So stupid. I do. You know what? You do you, boo boo. I'm having some leftovers from last night. My kielbasa. I might also have some cottage cheese, mustard. I love a raw broccoli with it, so I'm probably gonna do that. You guys, I already warmed my kielbasa. Because you're stealing this from from a TikToker. So this is why you're doing it. Kielbasa. Here are my raw broccoli. I'm just gonna put this all in the same bowl. I don't. Th you know what? This is just basically a snack for her. Like. She's probably eating takeout and junk food behind the scenes. Like, this is just for her to show. To her, she's just showing herself eating this on camera to be trendy. But this is not what she would normally eat. She just wants to be trendy. That's all it is. And of course, cottage cheese. I promise you this is good. Like, I know it's weird. Trust me. Feels weird, but it's so good. And delicious mustard. Can't have enough of that. So there is my meal. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Y'all, I'm trying to watch Vanderpump Rules because everyone is talking about it, but it's like not doing anything for me. I'm 14 minutes in on the first episode and I can already tell that majority of this is fake. So I'm like, ugh, boring. Every time I look in the viewfinder, it literally just reminds me, girl, brush your hair. <laughs> like I haven't brushed my hair in probably like two weeks. You know, I shower every day, but then I probably wash my hair like every three days. And then even while it's wet, I'll just put it back up. That cannot be good for your hair. That is so lazy. Like, I have short hair. Okay, very, you know, very short hair. You know, um, I brush my hair every day. I, I I, you're so lazy that you can't brush your freaking hair. If, if it's such so cumbersome for you then cut your got your freaking hair for pete's sake like i feel like the title of this video should be amberlynn reed too lazy to even brush her own hair <laughs> seriously brush your hair like <laughs> up into this and for me like that's how i know i'm like super sad because brushing my hair always goes first always i'm finally using um the little lip balm things that i got from the dollar tree and there were some people who were like speaking about how like how i got really cheap makeup off of timu but then like why did i get cheap makeup off of or from the dollar tree completely different la colors is an actual brand just like wet and wild which is also at like five below the dollar tree and stuff like that like those are actual brands that people like and they were made for people who like don't have a lot of money but still want to like wear makeup and stuff but this is the shimmering loose eyeshadow la color that i got from there and i still haven't used this so i might actually use that tomorrow because like i said i wanted a free clean bare face today but i will say this feels really good i'm not, gonna not really bare face. you're not really bare face you got glitter all over your face because you're not properly washing your face i don't even think you're properly taking showers your idea of a of showering every day it's probably taking whore baths. It's not as if you can't shower. You're 
I know you can fit into the shower with the seam you do it. It's the fact that you're just too lazy to step in the shower and do it. Allegedly conspiracy though because there's like barely any scent to it so august 1st is coming up and that's actually when this planner starts um i got this planner from was it marshall's i think so um and this is when it starts it starts on the good old august so i'm super planner for what you don't do anything you don't i don't get it i don't get it why why do you need a planner what, what is it that you do every day that would it you know would that make would make you need a planner it's it's foolish. It's just stupid. I'm excited. Um, I love jotting down notes, lists, goals. It's just what I do. I'm just very much a pen. Goals. Goals. You don't. You can't meet. You can't meet any goal that you make. How many? You've been at this for how many freaking ten years, and you haven't achieved anything with your life look at you you can't you don't even can't even brush your hair too lazy to brush your hair over 500 pounds still can't even wipe all the makeup off your face not showering properly can barely take care of yourself still codependent on, you know on everybody around you You can barely, you can barely mobile, can barely do anything, just anything for yourself. Okay. Like, you're constantly getting the journals and writing all these goals down and all that this and the lists and all that. For what? For what? You don't meet that, those goals. You don't complete the list because you're too lazy. There's no point, Amber. There's no point. It's not doing anything for you. My God. What a waste of time. I'm the paper type of girly. So that's why when people are like, oh my God, you're already journaling like on your notes. Why are you also doing it like in a notebook? Well, it's because I want that physical like pen to paper journal like feel to it. Like I love it. If I had to choose between only journaling um, electronically or like with an actual just notebook, I would choose this. This is what I would choose. Same when it goes to like- But you're still journaling on your computer. And you're just jotting it down. It, it makes no sense. Do you do this just so you have something to do throughout the day? If that's the case, just so it val makes you feel validated that you're doing stuff throughout the day, then Amber Lynn, you need to get a job. A real job. I know, you know, there's this argument these days. Well, you know, social media influencers, they don't really- Dad, work. Richard Gladigan. So I got a call and I got lost what I was saying. You don't do any, Amber, you, you need to get a job. Like I and I, and I know this is this like I said, this is argument of you know these days about social media influencers don't you know they don't that's not a real job. It it, it can be a real job. It it's depending on how much work you put into it. I see a lot of social media influencers who actually do work hard. And you can tell with the the, the the quality of their content, like it, 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 it is a full time job. I mean, to you know, to an extent, you know, like depending on, like I said, how much work you put into it. There's some people that only work a couple hours a day. There's some people that put in like a full, you know, eight hour work day, filming and editing and stuff like that. Um, for Amber, like I don't, you, you, I don't always, I don't see that. I don't see her putting in a full work day based off the kind of content that she makes and the, 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 the subpar quality of her content. Like, she probably spends maybe about two to three hours a day. And I can say for myself, like, being a reaction channel, on my reaction, on this channel, I would probably spend, let's say, an hour, you know, maybe roughly almost, you know, 45 minutes to, you know, to an hour of filming. And then maybe another 40, you know, 45 minutes editing, depending, the, you know, depending on the length of the video and stuff like that. But, um, not even, 
let's say roughly an hour and a half for every, you know, for like a doing everything and stuff like that. That's just based on, now that's just my reaction channel. In the gaming, um, I, I'm going to say different, you know, I, I usually do like a two hour, you know, gameplay, whether I'm streaming or doing pre-recorded content, and then I just, uh, edit the video, which is not really a lot of editing, whatever. And then, um, since I already have, like, you know, segments that, are, you know, certain segments that are pre-edited, I just put them all together and then, um, let the, let it, like, process and stuff like that and then upload it and then let that process on the YouTube channel and that's it. But, um, I, I spend more time with my gaming content than I do with my YouTube content. Um, you know, reaction camp content. So it's just like, um, so I, I do add more time on, you know, if I want to say, since I do consider this, that I am working towards something, even though it's a hobby, you know, probably like throughout three, let's say three, three to four hours. Okay. A day. Now if there's no reaction channel stuff. Then, um, that, that's, that's still about maybe two, three, like three hours, whatever. But see, Amber, I, I don't see that. Like, I don't see her spending even that much time towards her YouTube channel. So she has all this time during the day to, like, you know, focus on her pro all, all the, the things that are wrong in her life and her problems and, and you know, just nothing. Like... <laughs> You need to get a job. You need to have a hobby or something. Because you are literally talking about, oh, I love, you know, the, the feel of writing in a journal. But you're journaling on your computer, like, and you're just jotting it down from your computer. It's like, what is the point? What is the point? That's just a waste of paper. If you want to, if you're so, just, if you want to journal, just journal on, in your freaking notebook. And, I mean, if you're, if you're, you so love to feel, but in my opinion, if you're, if you're doing it on the computer, you're, just leave it on the computer. Put it on a flash drive or something. That, at least that would be saving paper. This is a waste. Like reading books, a lot of people are like, why don't you just read on the Kindle or whatever? And it's like I got the Kindle and I was thinking about it, but as I use the Kindle, it's like yeah, it's cool and all, but I prefer just like physical. I don't know, I'm not a boomer, I promise. I am a millennial, but it's like technology is taking over everywhere, so it's like I still like to keep certain things from the past, like physical pens, physical paper, physical uh, books. So I don't know. Not me over here making turkey kielbasa with garlic. Oh and god, not me doing this, not me doing that. Stop stealing from uh, from other social media influencers. And for the second night in a row, oh my god, it's just so good. I'm currently cooking. I bet you she stole that from somebody else. I bet you some TikToker or YouTuber or what an Instagram influencer was doing making that whatever, and she's like, "Oh, I gotta make it on my channel." What happened? What do? Nope. I'm also listening to Trisha Paytas's uh, new podcast, Just Trish. So I have a pause right now, though. Of course, she likes Trisha Paytas. God, that woman is obnoxious. And the way you're eating that is obnoxious. You need to cut it, but and then cut the top of it and then eat it. My God, you're eating the paper as well. My, just can she not do anything right? We'll see. I mean, I like it so far, but how many podcasts has she had now? A lot. <laughs> see, that's what I'm talking about. Just don't give up. Just keep on trying, no matter how many podcast journeys you go on. I'm blurry. Okay, so. My food is done. I wish, like, I had rice or something, but I really am trying not to have, like, pasta and rice. You know, it's one step at a time. I love making this because I have leftovers for the next day. As you guys saw, I ate my leftovers from last night, earlier. So, so far, I've shown you guys everything that I've ate today so far. Hello, hello. Okay, I haven't vlogged for... Do you really believe that all she's ate, ate today so far? Eaten in Berlin. It's not ate. Um... I don't, I don't believe it. Based on yeah, that she's still gaining weight, she's or either maintaining, there's no way. There's no way. You're just eating those small portions of food. Give me a break. 
I think it's been like three hours at this point. And I want to say about an hour ago, I was just like having a meltdown. You guys have been so sweet in my DMs. Like so many people reaching out to me saying like how I just seem so relatable because these are like feelings that people usually don't voice out loud and like people just saying thank you for your vulnerability and stuff. And it just makes me want to like, I don't know, cry. Like I wish I could hug every single one of you because mm -hmm. so many of you are also opening up to me and it's just like, wow. So I also want to say um, that the person who sent me this book, because this was from one of my PO boxes recently said that on the inside, there was a letter and that the person who wrote this book actually wrote inside of it and signed it and I hadn't actually opened the book yet so when she messaged me I was like oh my god thank you for letting me know so I just want to say Tracy thank you so much I appreciate you I appreciate all of you and you guys have just been so kind I have definitely needed it because I'm going through a lot there's a lot of things I'm vocalizing and a lot of things I'm not ready to vocalize but we will get there so I was in my pantry and I saw that I had like I don't know I'd say maybe 40% of this left so I just ate them right after saying I'm trying to watch my carbs Ugh. They were just staring at me in my face. They were really tasty, but no more buying these because this is like, honestly, probably one of my favorite snacks in the world. Not good for you. So, so far, these are the things that I'm giving a Goodwill. We have dishes and cups and purses and notebooks and books and wannabe Legos and just some like miscellaneous stuff. So we're definitely getting that going. All right. So the next thing I plan on having is Wait some a minute. Wait wings. a minute. Let me just go back to that box for a minute. She didn't even wash the freaking dish the dishes that she's given away look what's on the inside look at that yeah that's chip paint or she didn't even wash them really you're that lazy you can't wash the dishes that you're going to be giving away you see that disgusting miscellaneous stuff so we're definitely getting that going all right so the next thing i plan on having is some buffalo wings these are the morning star veggie buffalo wings and they're so good and i'm gonna have them with ranch so my veggie nuggets are in the microwave now i'm just gonna get a little i've had those i don't like them dipper but... bowl here isn't it so cute and small so i'm gonna have some ranch my hair is staying frizzy i swear to you it's probably because i'm not brushing it which i need to do mm, so good <laughs> when i like something you know it because i'm like so good literally not descriptive at all in any sort of way so i know it feels like i was showing you guys like wannabe legos and legos that i was completing almost every single day i've still been working on them yes i have i want to show you guys every completed one that i do because i just love it so much and i know a lot of you do too but this one took me forever the one i'm about to show you i'm trying to grab it but it's like weeble wobble oh my god don't fall please i mean it's hooked on the little stand but it's still like weeble wobbles it is an astronaut and when i tell you like look how many pieces and how detailed like insane like isn't that crazy i'm like so proud of that one but it does like wiggle and stuff so i'm gonna set it down i thoroughly enjoyed that one it was super fun hard detailed which is my favorite this one i like recommend wholeheartedly it's jm bricklayer is the brand and this is the mechanical spaceman 900 pieces so yeah this is the end of my video but this was definitely like a what i ate today video because i showed you every single thing that i put in my mouth besides the liquids i had and the only thing i've had today was a few of these diet pepsis i'm probably gonna have one more i usually have one more like while i'm just chilling in bed so so that is the end of this vlog i hope that you guys did enjoy um today was day 10 or 11 i think last video was 10 today's 11 who knows i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys well that was it that was a pretty much pointless video I can't wait till these 15 days are over. Like, really? <sighs> you know what? I'm going to go. I really don't have much else to say. So, toodaloo, my loves. Well, that's it for today's video. Like, share, subscribe, comment below, hit the notification bell. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns about this video or any other videos created on this platform please feel free to leave a comment below or hit me up on any of my social media accounts. If you want to support my channel I do have Cash App, PayPal, and Venmo. Links are in the description below. Just keep in mind you are under no obligation to donate to my channel, but any bit is most appreciated. Well, that's all for now. Toodaloo my loves. Sassy Assassin